Welcome in to a very special segment of Metal Forge Reviews. I'm Ben Foe, nice to see you, thanks for joining. Today I'm very eager to share my passion for the band Daylight Dies with you. They are one of the finest melodic doom death metal bands from the United States. So be sure to stick around to learn a bit about their history, talk about their discography a little bit, and then we're gonna go into the reasons why I think they're so great. Guitarist Barr Hambling and Jesse Half met in 1992 as teenagers. The band didn't really come to fruition until several years later with their 1999 demo, The Long Forgotten. This band once called North Carolina their home base, but as people grow up and get older and have families and careers and life changes and things like that, they've kind of gotten scattered to the winds. I was surprised to learn that this has not really hindered their writing process because they have always kind of been in the mode of recording things and sending them to each other remotely and stuff like that. So I think that's a really good thing. I'm very eager to see where Daylight Dies ends up. Maybe we'll get something in the next year or two. Who knows? But speaking of studio albums, let's talk about some of their discography real quick. Their first EP and full lengths are just outstanding. Idol features fantastic tracks like Forfeiture of Life in Stronger Days. No Reply has some awesome songs like The Line That Divides and one of my personal favorites, Four Corners. Check out a clip from that song. Man, I just love that riffing, and I'm gonna tell you why towards the end of the video here. Four years after No Reply, the band released what many would consider to be their magnum opus, Dismantling Devotion. Being signed to Candlelight Records definitely helped to boost the band's reach. When I heard Dismantling Devotion, I was absolutely floored and couldn't miss the opportunity to see them. This is a Dismantling uh, Devotion tour, and the bands are obviously Daylight Dies, Catatonia, and Moonspell. This was the Webster Theater in Connecticut. An amazing show. I think that they could only play about three songs because they were the opening act and all their songs are like seven minutes long. So, you know, just having the opportunity to see those guys, having the opportunity to meet those guys, shake their hands and tell them you're onto something incredible here was just a great opportunity. I love a good live show, definitely miss them. Hope they come back soon. Daylight Dies, that is, and live shows. Check out this video, by the way, for the song Lies That Bind, their first ever video on their first major record label. Oh, that's not true. They were signed to Relapse Records, and that's a pretty big label, so. Wrong. Nix that. The follow-up to Dismantling Devotion, Lost to the Living. Great album. It's tough to follow up such a monumental record like Dismantling Devotion, but I can't think of a below average song on Lost to the Living. Matter of fact, find out for yourself. Here's a clip from the song, A Portrait in White. A Frail Becoming is the band's most recent release. This album is absolutely stunning. I would probably put it right up there along with Dismantling Devotion. It is viciously heavy and very well paced, with a total runtime clocking in at just around 49 minutes, which is just perfect for this type of band. Here's a clip from their video, Dreaming of Breathing. I hope that you get excited as I do about Daylight Dies. They are unbelievable. And now I'd love to talk to you about some of the reasons why I think they are so unbelievable. So 
So for reasons why I love Daylight Dies so much, they really have just carried on a continuation of the emotional and compelling music that I loved from the mid and late 90s. The group has their own unique brand of heaviness, utilizing syncopated double kicking, chugging palm mutes, and harsh vocals by Nathan Ellis. These industrialized sorts of sections are contrasted beautifully by their dreamy, clean sections, a washy, reverb-drenched guitar leads, and languid, clean vocals provided by bassist Egan O'Rourke. Their music is designed to let the listener embrace the introspection that comes with such emotionally weighty material. This is also a band that all you guitar players need to pay attention to. Remember when I was talking about how awesome that riff in Four Corners was? Yeah, Daylight Ties has those all over their albums. Their riffs are absolutely out of this world with a wide variety of techniques and styles being utilized. If you can't tell already, I love Daylight Dies. Is this your first time hearing them? If so, I'd be surprised and lucky you because I wish I could hear them again for the first time. Or are you a longtime fan like I am? Let me know in the comments down below. You can always reach us on social media. We also have great videos that talk about other awesome bands. As always, may the gods lead you on. Go with them. Take care. <laughs>